Nature never gets tiring. The mature amongst us are drawn towards it and designed to be in it. Living where there are no right angles. Growing up in the Pacific Northwest, my father's youth was the forest. Spending much of his time alone and wet in streams and rivers. Building forts and dams, letting the imagination run free. Time is our most valuable commodity. We consciously spend that time currency with others to accomplish things or for companionship. But the strong-willed individual loves their valuable time alone, in calm and peaceful locations, where in that natural world, time slows down. Going into the forest alone in classic stories is metaphor for going into self, with just you and your passions, in introspection. Experiencing our whole being, which includes our external environment. Because if we don't realize that, we don't respect it. We commoditize it. Shinrin-yoku is Japanese for forest bathing. Immersing yourself in heavy nature is medicine. Setting the stage externally for inward transformation. Grounded, without distractions or excess, you de-stress and unwind. Orderly in silence and calmness, my father now spends his retirement in nature. Obsessed with waterways and the weather. Seeking out Shangri-La. Coming full circle to those early days from his youth. Doing what he was meant to do. embracing the mystery and bringing him closer to the source of all things. <laughs>